Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a video here on diabetes and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this uh, particular term. It's very, very popular and I'm going to explain why here in a moment. But it's really not that hard to get rid of if you're changing your ways and you, and you really, truly want to get rid of it. So please watch this whole entire video. It won't be that long. I'll include any links below this video that I've done on previous videos so you can actually see those. Where one, I explained about coconut oil which kind of helps control your blood sugar um, and I've been a big advocate for that for years since I started this channel uh, six years ago and really post really started posting a lot of videos uh, about five years ago uh, on various different topics and the thing I want everyone to know before I move forward on this is that any name that's uh, basically made up by the medical community which Western medicine started about a hundred years ago uh, really always has a drug tied to it because that is basically how you're they're able to uh, basically use what's quote unquote called sick care to really keep treating the symptoms as you're as you're seeing here where you gotta check your blood sugar and then you have to take uh, sometimes insulin uh, especially if you have to really inject it if you have basically type 1 diabetes and then there's type 2 but the point is that it's a blood sugar issue so if you're spiking your insulin all day and all you're doing is checking your blood sugar you're eating the same foods and you're eating multiple times a day it's never gonna go away I can tell you that right now there's no magic to getting rid of uh, having the body adjust to a, a blood sugar issue and the reason I know this very, very well, is I used to have very, very low blood sugar. Four years ago, I actually five years ago, I admitted myself into the hospital because I couldn't stop my heart from racing so much. I would take a little bit of, uh, you know, I was trying to go to a raw diet and I was drinking the, the shakes, but I couldn't figure out why my heart would just start racing out of nowhere. My tongue would go dry and it was just fast. I mean, you would just feel... The, the, the shivering and the coldness, it was brutal. And of course, you know, I go to Western Medicine and, you know, they tell me, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. And, you know, then I looked at their, you know, quote unquote chemistry tests and I said, okay, here's, here's my issue right here. And I, I really knew that it had to deal with my liver as well. They didn't pinpoint in anything. But the point I'm trying to make is I really learned from that experience and this is how I was able to, to really move forward because you really got to understand number one intermittent fasting and I'm a huge advocate of this more than ever uh, because if you're intermittent fasting as I just mentioned before you're not spiking your insulin everything you eat doesn't matter what it is it could be a vegetable it could be anything it spikes your insulin so if you fast for a period of the day talk, not talking about for days at a time within a given 24 hour period for example the popular is 16-8 we fast for 16 hours eat for 8 I suggest using maybe two meals when you start out, but if you have very low blood sugar, you really need to kind of ease into it and work at your own pace. So if you can't do 16 hours and you need to eat, you know, a piece of fruit or you need to put some of uh, some of that natural uh, uh, sugar, uh, because there's really no sugar in fresh fruits or anything I'm going to mention here in a moment. Uh, there's a big difference between table sugar and what comes naturally in a whole fruit with phytonutrients and everything because this is the way I live my life. I've been doing this for a while and I'm more of an advocate into all fresh fruit because fresh fruit is what really helps uh, even if somebody has diabetes. So uh, to create an insulin spike after training and I'm talking about after a workout here but you really want to look at what does a spike in insulin do? Well more fat is stored. Less is burned and you can see how spiking insulin levels throughout the day would lead to fat gain over time. Okay, So as long as those insulin receptors work as designed, a spike in insulin levels clears out the majority of the glucose in, in the blood pushing it into the muscle and fat cells. Right? So when you're fasting, doing intermittent fasting, you're actually burning fat and you're not having the insulin spikes. So uh, I'm sure all of you now are understanding that. So if you're eating three, four, five meals a day like everyone else is, you're going to have 
diabetes, and that's why it's growing so much. And people eating a lot of refined foods, processed foods, things like that. I was in that category. I had been doing that from day one. From the time I was a teenager, I was drinking soda, eating candy, eating tons of fast food, and I wouldn't listen to anyone telling me, oh, no, 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 don't do that. I said, ah, I don't care. I'm, I love this. And I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And then eventually, things started going haywire when I, you know, hit my late 20s. Um, so, you know, now that I'm, I'm pretty much almost 40, I understand the whole process. Uh, and again, it took me a while, and I really remember uh, just all the things that going through this, what I should have known. And intermittent fasting is how I started with doing fresh coconuts, and I've learned a lot of things by trial and error. And that that is why I'm making these videos, so you don't have to do that. Trial and error is not fun, and you have to know what you're doing and track everything. See, even though you make an error with something, you just pick right back up where you started and you continue to move forward. So when I felt I had a low blood sugar issue I, and I wasn't doing intermittent fasting, I would just drink a coconut, right? Fix it right away because it's natural sugar. You pick these up anywhere, just chop the top off, put a straw in, and, and use that. That's a great tool to help guide you if you're trying to ease into to intermittent fasting. Uh, if you have um, especially a very low blood sugar issue, as I mentioned before, I've had that, your heart starts racing, your tongue gets really dry, it's brutal, and there was times I didn't think I was going to make it trying to get somewhere to grab the sugar, but it's, it's a constant thing. It just, it, it happens every, every, you know, every so often during out, during the day. So it was brutal, and I hated it, and I knew I could fix it, I just didn't know what to do. So that's why I'm trying to help you so you can kind of work through this. And again, I only make videos to educate people, so you're going to need to always watch other videos. I'll leave those links below. But if you're eating the fresh living fruits that have everything in it, I know you're told, oh my gosh, avoid sugar. But you want to avoid processed sugar. This has fructose. It's different. There's people that can get rid of diabetes in 30, 60 days. It's not that hard because you have to balance out the body. This has been my experience. It's really, really easy. But if you're eating five meals a day, six meals a day, Good luck. It doesn't matter what you eat, because remember, you're going to spike your insulin. So anyways, go ahead and click on the links below this video so you can learn more about uh, intermittent fasting. I've also done dry fasting. So I've experienced this. It's not just something that you know I'm showing you online. These are, these are illustrations, folks, that I want you to learn from so that way you can move forward. Okay? And... I'm a very visual person and so are many other people. Without visuals, it's very, very difficult to really learn something that is not someone's expertise that I have learned and I'm trying to put that info out for you folks. So uh, at this point, uh, berries are going to be your best choice. Uh, you could also eat dates. You could use dragon fruit, which also helps control blood sugar. A lot of people, they don't know that. I'm a big advocate of dragon fruit. So all that will be below this video, so take a moment to, to look at that. Keep moving forward, folks. Always start at your own pace. And if you feel you're fasting and you need to have some quick sugar, use either fresh coconut or fresh fruit, and you've got to ease into it. Never just continue going forward with something when your body's not ready. Always work at your own pace. Thank you so much, folks. Bye-bye.